festivals and other large events across the bluegrass are being canceled as COVID case numbers continue to rise, but the state festival in Lawrenceburg is a go. It's a huge event for the community, bringing in thousands to the small town, and that's why organ organizers there say that they didn't want to cancel this year. LEX 18's Christiana Ford takes us inside for a look at the impact of this event. There are a ton of shops packed into the two blocks that make up downtown Lawrenceburg, and they all will offer something unique. Come on, let me show you. Craft vendor Melissa Mordrury couldn't wait to make her first appearance at State Festival. This is huge for us. For her, this art and these barn quilts are her gift. If you had asked me two years ago if I could draw, I would have told you I can't even draw a stick person, but I was given a gift. A gift that takes care of her daughter who has type 1 diabetes. Diabetes is very expensive, and even though I work a full-time job, I needed something to be able to pay so that she could have the life that she needed. That something is her art. And as we walked around, we found every vendor in every food truck has their own story from the Anderson County Humane Society. These are homemade dog cookies um, and they are sold and 100% of the profits from this goes to our spay neuter program. To Victoria Coop's 3D printed works of art. So I got started in 3D printing because a friend of mine who is my old boss too, he bought me a 3D printer one year for Christmas and I started out making these little statues and uh, and learned that I could texture them and paint them and sell them. To Jeff Fox's Metalworks. It's been the thing that keeps me going. And even the shops on Main Street like Jay Bailey and Sons. We don't want to have a museum in here either so the items that we have in here are unique but they're also priced where you can afford to buy them. It may be a small town but this festival's impact is large. We've never looked at it as far as dollars and cents, but we've looked at the thousands of people that attend the festival. That's why Lawrenceburg Mayor Troy Young says they couldn't cancel this year, even with the rise in COVID cases and other events making that brutal last minute call. Young says they talked to the local health department and felt comfortable moving forward since everything is outside. It's great for our brick and mortar stores, our restaurants, our shops downtown. So it does bring several people and a lot of people come back once they've been here. And by the looks on these faces, the community is grateful. In Anderson County, Christiana Ford, LEX 18 News.